Alright, what's up guys, Triple C here. We got the new Insurgent custom today and in order to upgrade or to obtain it, you first need to order the regular um, Insurgent with the gun here, the one I got. There's two types, but you gotta have that one. It's a Pegasus vehicle. You gotta own that one anyways. You can buy it on the Pegasus site if you don't have it yet. What you then do is you order your uh, mobile operations center and then you gotta drive into it and you can upgrade it. We're going to do that now and we're going to see how it uh, performs against the regular insurgent. We're going to just compare them basically and see if this one has any, except for the weapons, if it does have any additional features. So here the mobile operation center just spawned in. And now apparently I'm able to drive in that shit. Here, wait, let's see. I got to press right. Okay. So. We got the insurgent in here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, upgrade at cost. How much does it cost? Not even that much. It's only 200k. Or is it 1 million? No, no, it's it's below 200,000, okay? Okay, so I just upgraded it, now I can obviously... Ah, okay, so um, some of those upgrades you still have to research. As you see here, they're still locked right now. So I just leave it at light, and later I'll get the heavy armor once I got the research for that complete. Brakes, we're of course going to take race brakes because we're going to be racing this thing all day. Uh, engine upgrade, we're going to upgrade all to the fullest. A horn, I always get a cheap horn because... Mm -hmm. Headlights, uh, we got the neon kits. So yeah, I'll just go through this quick here um, so you don't have to watch every little detail I'm customizing. But wait, uh, before I do that, let's quickly go through the options that Proximity mines, we have those enabled already from the research, nice. Um, let's see if there's any other upgrades which are not standard, like your weapons, for example. Okay, I can upgrade to the 50 caliber minigun which I still have to research, and for the rest I think it was all, it's the regular upgrades you know from other vehicles. So I'm going to speed this part up now. Okay guys, so I'm just finished customizing it right now, and what I saw is you can actually now store it in your garage, it's not a Pegasus vehicle anymore, just store it in any one of your garages, and you also still have your Pegasus um, insurgent, so it's kind of like a duplication, legit duplication, and not even that expensive if you consider that the upgrade just costs like 200k, plus all the regular LS Customs upgrades that you guys also know of. Now I'm in the Rockstar Editor right now, so we can also take a look inside the vehicle, how it looks. So yeah, that's the dashboard for all the first-person enthusiasts, that's what you'll be looking at. Uh, not a very good view outside with this mesh here. And I think it said that you can put like eight people in there. I think it was eight, they said on the Social Club Newswire. So anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, we'll go outside with it now and compare it to the other insurgent. Let's go. Okay, so now we got the regular Insurgent Pickup, the Pegasus vehicle, and we got the Insurgent Pickup Custom here. And we're going to compare them to each other, see like the acceleration difference and the top speed difference. Of course, it's not going to be 100% accurate because uh, blah, blah, but you will see a pattern here. So let's just th throw a grenade, and with the grenade, we're just going to start going at the same time. Let's go. Because this one should be quicker because um, we just upgraded it with the acceleration and the turbo tuning and everything. Oh nice, I can see car. Oh yeah, but look, it's just pulling off immediately in comparison to the other one. Because we got the engine upgrade, the transmission upgrade, all that stuff, so yeah. Yeah, very noticeable difference here. So um, with top speed, we probably will also have a higher top speed. That's just something that we can't really accurately test here. I'll just wait for him a bit and try and see if we can level out a bit. That way you can get an indication. I mean, it's like I said, this is not going to be accurate, but you will see a pattern. You'll get a good indication. 
So now I just let off the gas and let him catch up. He should be almost up to top speed now, but also this one definitely has a higher top speed. So yeah, performance-wise, um, you do really improve it. So if you had the Pegasus one, there's no sense in just keeping it not doing it. Like, why not do it for 200k? Why not? Alright guys, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have the custom insurgent race against the rental shuttle bus, which is also a Pegasus vehicle. In case they'll open up a Pegasus racing class one day, you will already know how it performs against this car, so you can uh, spare your research then. Also, what like every YouTuber knows, all you have to do with a car to test it is drive it across a runway once, and you'll have an accurate result. So yeah, let's go. Um, one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, no. So it can't hold up with the rental shuttle bus. It would be cool if we could customize that one too and get a gun turret and all that stuff on top of it. But yeah, um, we're going to do one more thing with it. We're going to see how many um, RPGs hits it will take until it blows up. Let's try that out. I'll just put it on the runway here, and then we'll start shooting at it with an RPG. So I got 20 RPGs. Let's just count them. So, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, five hits with the RPG, and you're, you're done for it. So if you're in free mode, you got four hits, better get the fuck out of there. So yeah, that was it. That was the test on the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Still got some races coming up for you guys. Enjoy it and I'm out. Peace. Alright, what's up guys? Triple C, we're playing Wagonator 2 by Michael C 319 The Wagonator 1 was absolutely dope. I think I even voted that as place number one in the Winner's Wednesday, or number two, I don't remember. It was just such a good race, and now, um, the second version, I haven't played it yet, the others have, we say it's dope, which I would expect, high expectations here, man. Right? Okay, let's see. Team Bell, you have nine on me. Ah, man, why did I even let off speed? I wouldn't have had to. Fuck, I fucked this thing. Here we go. Oh, we're going to <laughs> together. Nice. Wagonator. Nice wagonating here, man. Wagonating all over the place. Ooh, I don't know what I have to go. Nice, man. Beautiful. Awesome race, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't wait to wagonate again in the second lap. <laughs> Such a dope name, I think. Wagonator. How careful I'm driving here. Okay, but now I'm a bit more prepared for the turn so I can mess them up more easy. Lingering all over the place. Nice, I can take that full speed off awesome of there. Beautiful. Wagonade like a motherfucker. Ah, oh, look, now I'm stuck between the buildings. Really? Ah, my luck. My fault, also. This is my fault because I didn't exit that barge straight there. Yeah, the side of the barges. Uh, easy, yeah, nice man. Brilliant little stunt here.
really liked it. The link is down there in the description. Go check it out. And I'm out. Peace.